Hi students, today we are discussing class 10, chapter 12, circles, MCQ questions, okay? Our first question is, the area of the square is the same as the area of the circle. Their perimeters are in the ratio. That means we need to find the ratio of their perimeters. And what is given? The area of the square is same as the area of the circle. How to find the area of the square? It is a square and how to find the area of the circle? It is pi r square. So, i a square equal to pi r square and a equal to root pi r. That we need to substitute in perimeters. So, we need to find the ratio of their perimeters and the ratio of perimeters how to find 4a and 2 pi r are the perimeters of square and circle. So, 4a is to 2 pi r we need to find out and instead of a we have to substitute root pi r. So, it will be 4 into root pi r is to 2 pi r and 4 and 2 we can cancel and uh, r also we can cancel. So, we will get 2 is to root pi. That means our fourth option is correct. Now moving to the second one. The radii of two circles are 4 cm and 3 cm respectively. The diameter of the circle having area equal to the sum of the areas of two circles. Now what is given? The radii of two circles are 4 and 3 cm and area of new circle is sum of the areas of the uh, given circles. How to find the area of the circle? Pi r square. And here I am taking the radius of the new circle as capital R. And the radius of the uh, two circles are R1 and R2. And pi r square equal to pi into R1 square plus R2 square. Because uh, sum we need to find out. And pi is common. That is why I took pi outside. And pi and pi we can cancel. Uh, so R square equal to 25 we will get 4 square is 16, 3 square is 9, 4 square plus 3 square is 25. So R is 5 centimeter. And we need to find the diameter of the new circle. So diameter is 2R, it will be 10 centimeter. So the option is the third one. Moving to the third question, the diameter of a cycle wheel is 42 cm. How many rotations will it make to travel 1.98 km? Here the diameter is given and D equal to 42 or R equal to 21. And in, we need to find the number of rotations in 1.98 kilometer. And we know that the distance travel for one rotation that is the circumference of the wheel that is 2 pi R equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 21. And after cancellation we will get 132 centimeter. And number of rotations we need to find out that means um, uh, total distance by distance for one rotation that's a formula and total distance is given 1.98 it is in kilometer so we need to convert it into centimeter because our uh, circumference is in centimeter or radius is in centimeter so we need to convert kilometer to centimeter so multiply with a thousand into hundred and denominator is 132 distance for one rotation and after cancellation we will get 1500 rotations that means the third option is correct now fourth question the area of this circle that can be inscribed in a square of size 6 cm here diameter is 6 how to get the diameter as 6 because the uh, circle is inscribed in a square that means the side length of the square is same as the diameter of the circle and the side length of the square is 6 cm it is given that means the diameter of the circle is 6 cm or radius is 3 cm now area of the circle we need to find out that is pi r square after substituting we will get 9 pi our option is c now, fifth one, the perimeter of a square circumscribing a circle of radius a centimeter is. We need to find the perimeter of this uh, square. And circumscribing a circle, that means here also diameter is 2a. Uh, because the diameter of the circle is same as the side length of the square. So, side of the square is 2a. Perimeter is 4 times the side length, that is 4 times 2a equal to 8a. First option is. In the adjoining figure, OABC is a square of side 7 cm. OAC is a quadrant of a circle with O as center. 
the area of the shaded region we need to find out and we know that area of the shaded region is equal to area of the square minus area of the quadrant and uh, the length of the uh, side of the square is same as the radius of the quadrant and how to find the area of the square it is side into side and area of the quadrant is one fourth of the area of the circle so 1 by 4 into pi r square and side length is 7 into 7 minus 1 by 4 into uh, pi is 22 by 7 into 7 into 7 after simplifying we will get uh, 49 minus 77 by 2 that is 49 minus 38.5 it is 10.5 so our first option is correct moving to the next one in this figure O is the center. The area of the sector OAPB is 5 by 8 of the area of the circle. We need to find the X. Area of the sector. How to find the area of the sector? It is X by 360 into pi r square. And it is given that it is equal to 5 by 18 pi r square. And pi r square and pi r square we can cancel after simplifying x is equal to 100. We will get that means our first option is correct. Next one, in this adjoining figure, the largest circle with radius 4 cm is touched internally by two small circles which also touch each other externally at the center O. Area of the shaded portion. That means the diameter of the smaller circle is same as the radius of the bigger circle. So, uh, re area, required area means the area of the shaded region is area of the bigger semicircle minus area of two semicircles. The upper semicircle, we no need to find that area. Uh, and the shaded region, region lies in the uh, lower semicircle. So, we need to find the area of the shaded region that means the area of the bigger semicircle minus area of two semicircles only we need to find out. That means half pi r square minus 2 into half pi small r square. Capital R is the uh, radius of the bigger circle and small r is the radius of the smaller circle. And after simplifying we will get 8 pi minus 4 pi that is equal to 4 pi. That means the second option is correct. Moving to the next one. An arc of a circle is of length 5 pi centimeter and the sector it bounds and has an area of 20 pi centimeter. Find the radius of the circle. Here arc of length 5 pi. How to find the length of the arc? It is theta by 360 into 2 pi r. And it is equal to 5 pi. It is given. And area of 20 pi centimeter how to find the area of the sector theta by 360 into pi r square it is equal to 20 pi both are given and we need to find the radius of the circle and the first equation has r and second equation has r square so if you divide the second equation by first equation we can find out the radius theta by 360 can be cancelled pi and pi can be cancelled right side also pi and pi can be cancelled and one r will be cancelled so after simplifying we will get in the left side half r equal to right side 20 by 5 is same as 4 that means r equal to 8 so sec for last option is correct moving to the next one the length of an arc of a circle with radius 12 centimeter is 10 pi the central angle of the arc here the length of the arc is given and uh, that means theta by 360 into 2 pi r is 10 pi and radius is 12 centimeters. So instead of r we can substitute uh, 12. After simplifying we will get theta equal to 150. I use different color so you can easily understand it. So fourth option is correct. Moving to the 11th one. If the difference between the circumference and the radius of a circle is 37 centimeter. Then circumference we need to find out. Difference between 
circumference and the radius. Circumference is 2 pi r, radius is r. So, difference is 2 pi r minus r equal to 37. It is given. r is common. r into 2 pi minus 1 is 37. After substituting the value of pi, we will get r into 37 by pi equal to 37 and 37 and 37 will be cancelled. So, r equal to 7 but we need to find the circumference that means 2 pi r equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 or it will be 44 so second option is correct moving to the next one the perimeter of a circle is twice that of a square then the ratio of their areas perimeter of a circle is twice that of a square so we can write 2 pi r equal to 2 times 4 a twice means 2 times and after simplifying, we will get r equal to 4a by pi. And we need to find the ratio of their areas. So, areas means pi r square and a square. Pi r square is to a square is pi into, instead of r, we can substitute for a by pi. So, after simplifying, we will get 16a square is to a square pi and a square and a square will be cancelled or 16 is to pi we will get and we know that pi equal to 22 by 7 so 16 is to 22 by 7 and after cross multiplying we will get 56 is to 11 so our fourth option is correct moving to the 13th one the area of a circle whose circumference 2 pi centimeter is circumference 2 pi that means 2 pi r is 2 pi or r equal to 1. We need to find the area. Area is pi r square. That means pi into 1 square is pi itself or uh, first option is correct. Moving to the 14th one. If the radius of a circle is increased by 5% then the area is increased by. Radius of the circle is increased by 5%. That means r is the original radius and the increase in radius is r plus r into 5 by 100. 5 percentage is increasing. That means r plus we have to put. That means 105 r by 100 is the increase in radius. Now, increase in area we need to find out. That means how to find the area of pi r square. Increase in area is pi into 105 r by 100 whole square because increase in area only increase in radius only we have to substitute in increase in area so 1.1025 pi r square we will get but we need to find the percentage increased in area so our uh, increase in area is 1.1025 pi r square minus original area is pi r square whole divided by original area that is pi r square will be in the denominator into 100 and pi r square is common and after cancelling pi r square we will get 1.1025 minus 1 into 100 after subtracting we will get 0 0.1025 and then multiply with 100 it will be 10.25 percentage so second option is correct moving to the 15th one a wire is looped in the form of a circle of radius 14 centimeter and it is rebent into the form of a square then the side length of the square is here circumference of the circle is 2 pi r we know that and the radius is 14 centimeter so after substituting we will get 88 centimeter and that same wire we have to rebend into the form of a square so perimeter of a square is same as circumference of the circle so 4a is the perimeter of the square 4a will be 88 and a equal to 22 that is the side length of the square that is 22 centimeter Hope you would have understand the concept and practice.